Hello, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I'm not sure when you're watching this, so maybe it's just happy Christmas in July at this point. I don't know. But today we're making this super easy, last minute friendly snowflakes frozen in time centerpiece with just a few simple elements that you can get from your craft store right now. Hopefully you already have a tall base on hand. If not, go to the thrift store, they're cheap. I'm using some white gel beads, which is different than clear gel beads, but your craft store should have them available. I put about, I don't know, a couple fingers height worth of the white gel beads in at the bottom of my vase to make it look like the gathered snow at the bottom. Totally optional. I could see it done with and without the white at the bottom. So if you can't find the white gel beads last minute or don't want to, I don't blame you. Don't put them in. From here on out, I put in the clear gel beads and snowflakes only. So you really only need the white for the bottom. And the snowflakes that I'm using are just the ones that you can get super cheap at any craft store right now. Just make sure when you're picking up different options that you have a variety of different shapes and sizes. Uh, some of them are large and flat. Some of them are small and multidimensional. So the, the key thing here is just diversity and making sure every time you you put them in, you're not putting the same ones in the same spot every time. You want to make it look like all sorts of different shapes and sizes of snowflakes are coming down. So really, it's just a matter of dropping in the gel beads, putting a few more snowflakes in, dropping in some gel beads, putting a few snowflakes in. And for those of you who are like, but I can't see them, you will. Hang with me here. And full disclosure, I realized after I started sticking my hands in all of these gel beads that some of them had not absorbed all of the water they needed to to be max size yet. So at the end of the video, I don't have mine being filled all the way up to the top. And that's only because I know that once I pour the water in and I let them sit for a little bit, if they aren't completely maxed out gel bead size, they're going to absorb that water and I'll have to top off the vase again, but they will also expand in that process. So that's why I'm leaving a little bit of room on the top. Additionally, part of the room allocation at the top is because I'm putting in some floating candles at the end, which obviously, as with anything else, is totally optional, but I think it helps make the piece. So I want to make sure that those candles have enough space at the top to float later on safely. So again, just mix up what kind of snowflakes you're putting in, top off with whatever gel beads you have available, and then the fun part begins. This is where you get to see it all come together. And it's just as simple as adding water and let those bubbles come out on their own. Don't worry about it. They will pop out on their own and they kind of look pretty magical anyways. Then it's just a matter of adding some floating candles and then setting the table with your beautiful new centerpiece. I think it looks pretty great from all sides, but I really think the key element here is having different size shapes of snowflakes to, to make this piece what it is. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is my very last episode for the 2017 Tablescape Challenge. I hope you enjoyed this. And next year, 2018, I plan on continuing on making my DIY thrift store table decor and maybe even branching out into some other decor, but definitely DIYs for your home table to make it your own special experience every time you sit down with friends and family. Have a happy holidays, and as always, Thank you so much for watching.